Hey guys, my name is Simpsy and welcome back to some more Total War Attila. We are playing as the Western Roman Empire. So I've skipped a quite few number of turns ahead after the occupation of, um, what's the region called? Palestinia. Um, and a couple of things have happened. Now, once we took Palestinia, I had four stacks here. The Sassanids did not attack me once. Now, I find this a very interesting fact. I haven't fought a Sassanid army ever. I have fought some of their vassals. Um, but a Sassanid troop has never killed a Roman troop in battle. That is about to change in this episode. Hopefully, they've pushed most of their armies into this region. But um, we're probably going to be playing against this one uh, in today's episode. But I just want to quickly recap what's happening diplomacy-wise in the world. Oh, I didn't actually see this. Ah, a Sassanid army has pushed down to my territory there. Right, okay, we have some new... Um, friends. We have some more military allies. Now, um, like I said, it was pretty much a stalemate in Palestine. I was spending the last couple of turns trying to, um, secure more lands for my victory conditions. And I did manage to give, get a military alliance with Axum and their allies, Himya, Him, Himya, Himya. Um, the way I did that was I was giving them money. I probably, honestly, gave them probably about... 30,000, <laughs> but these guys are currently sitting in third in strength, they occupy a huge chunk, and uh, obviously if I get a military alliance with them, they get added to my um, my victory conditions, and I did manage to get with their allies here, so the assassins are coming down here, I didn't actually say that, maybe we could try and uh, assassinate the general here with my champion, failure, right, okay, because it looks like they're, they're getting a push here, um, Obviously, the region of Palestine is absolutely fantastic at the moment. Um, right, okay, armies-wise, we're currently uh, occupied uh, Marco Mendes. We're currently still trying to occupy as many territories as possible because we are going for a military victory. We need six more um, settlements before we hit it. Um, with the culture victory, I actually found out that we can't win it. We, we can't do it because we can't construct a governor's palace, I'm pretty sure, um, because we've already... Um, in technology, yeah, we can't. Or is it library? What is it under? What do we need to build again? Hang on a minute. I might be mistaken. A governor's palace. Yeah. Oh, we should be able to get a government's palace. Maybe we can go for the cultural victory. Anyway, I'm still going for the military. Um, let me know in the comment section down below. Should we go for a uh, divine triumphant? But anyway, we're currently um, r trying to pull our money back into the uh, settlements and trying to recolonize them, which we're slowly doing here. Um, we have got this scanzer and whatnot. Halfen. So we're slowly expanding. Uh, military wise, we have a full stack obviously up in the north. Uh, yeah, full stack trying to repopulate the towns. We currently have a fleet here protecting Camaladunum. Um, we have a full stack here, protecting here. Uh, we've got half a stacks, which are kind of like, um, they kind of look like action armies to quell the populace if they rebel, or just to keep public order in check. So we've got half a stack here, half a stack here, uh, and we have this army here going through Africa and whatnot. But the majority of my hosts are currently here. So, we're going to be playing this battle. Now, the Sassanids are pushed in. They they only really got this far. My spies have been peppering them, and then usually half the time when I stop with my spies, they just, like, run off. But, I think the Sassanids have shot themselves in the foot here because they are in a fort stance. Now, I have three lots of heavy onagers, uh, four lots in two armies. So, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to move the faction leader up. Um, we can't encircle the fort. Right, okay. So, what we're going to have to do is, we're going to move the air up just to get some more... We didn't actually lose that many men. Um, to sweeten the odds, and they've actually retreated. Why would you be able to retreat with a fort? Regardless, I do want to throw these guys back, but me pushing into the desert is um, is not the best idea. I'm better off. They're better off pushing into the desert and losing their own attrition. So I'm going to fall back now. So I can get my replenishment. So maybe we won't have a battle in today's episode uh, just yet. 
I might go into... Oh, no, we're getting replenishments there. We're slowly getting replenishments there. My spies have done all their turns this move. But, um, right. What was I doing with this army? I was trying to think, see if the region is stable enough for me to leave. Honestly, not quite just yet. Do we need this other army over here? Because Axum have been pushing. Uh, we do need to protect this settlement. Three turns. So maybe we should double time it. Minus four. It should be alright. If it really gets that bad, we do have our army in um, Nova Carthago, which we can push across. I might even do that now. It's minus five already. We'll just hold it here. We can go back over there in a minute if we need be. Right, I think we should be pretty well right. Family tree rise, if you want to have a look at it. My family tree has just exploded, so it's just absolutely crazy at the moment. But I guess we can show the importance of, um, well, the Emperor's line. So obviously, Flavorous Onivus, his firstborn son, is currently Emperor. He has a son who has a uh, three sons. <laughs> His second son is married to a Gatulian, so and so was he. So we've got a lot of Gatulians in here. He has a bastard daughter, uh, three daughters actually, four daughters, and two sons. Um, Flavius Honorus' bastard uh, daughter is currently married to the king of the Gatulians. His first legitimate daughter still hasn't been wedded, but um, the former emperor, his second son Brutius, bastards. Bastard is married to the king of um, the Hymar, yeah, and then there's obviously uh, Vettius and his sons. But this, yeah, this family tree is just crazy at the moment. Right, let's end the turn. Um, I honestly thought we would have had a battle in today's episode, but um, we'll soon see. Public order. He's a governor. Hmm. Oh, okay. I thought he was in the army. It did say governor. Ah, maybe I was a bit more mistaken. Right, we'll see what the Sassanids do. I don't think we can get peace with them. Um, I would like to, because it would save a lot of lives. But we have been attacked by the Sassanids. Okay, this is going to be an interesting battle here. Holy shit, this is a huge battle. We're actually not favoured to win. That's slightly in their favour. I think it, they are deploying a little bit more than me. So looking at this first army, it's heavily with spearmen. They do have a lot of cavalry. That's going to be their strength. They even have crossbow cavalry. Right, let's fight this one on the field. Maybe I was better off... Uh, yeah... Deploying back on the further settlement. But. Hopefully. We can hold them back. Like I said, this is our first. I kind of had a feeling that they would be attacking me. But this is our first battle against the Sassanids. Right. Do we have high ground? We do have high ground here. Which could really change the tide. I'm going to take advantage of that. Most definitely. Um, so we're going to sit around here because we have heavy onagers. That that the heavy onagers sitting just right on that point. I might get them on the like just over the other side of the hill. There. Right. Okay. We'll go with flammable, and my army is going to sit on top of this hill. They are attacking me, so. We should be pretty well right. Right, Emperor can sit just behind, um, and then we'll split the cavalry and auxiliary on the flanks, which can, uh, well, get the flanking cavalry, because I imagine there's going to be a lot of flanking cavalry in this. And I want the army to basically just camp on this hill for the time being. I want my archers to go on skirmish mode, along with my uh, units here. Can they go on skirmish mode? No, they can't. Right, let's start the battle. My onigas are nearly in range. Where is my ally reinforcing from? Oh, they're coming from this bottom side of the hill. Perfect. 
Yeah, we'll get there as quickly as possible. Double time it. What's running over here? There's some camels. Aww. <laughs> right, okay. Infantry coming in. Make a second line. They do have their own catapults. Not overly that many. And then put spearmen on the flanks. Oh, not the general though. Oh, here comes the second host. Okay, we're going to be able to make a, a bigger line. So we'll go like... Here. Everyone should be double timing in here. So we'll put the spearmen on the flanks. And then these two guys here. I'm going to push my cavalry a little bit further around then. Uh, they're a little bit downhill there. I don't like that. Right. Generals. Can sit just behind here. So we're firing into their guff. Good on them. Um, this army doesn't have much cavalry. That's all I'm thinking. But hopefully they... Clash upon us. This was really lucky to get this high ground position. And my whole army can get there. At least they didn't deploy on the other side on the flanks. So we're going to hold this until the bitter end. Or oh, lager end. <laughs> what was that off? Shaun of the... D um, the World's End. It was a Simon Pegg movie. Right. Okay, we still are peppering them left, right and centre. My God, his entrails are just everywhere. Um, yeah, I think try hit their cluster in there. I might try spread it out just that little bit more, though. Oh, no, that's on that side, then, is it? Alright, is everyone in position? We have two lots of infantry that haven't been given an order. We'll push you up then. Men of Rome. I wanted peace with the Sassanids. Far out. How many have we killed? Enemy. Oh, we can't because they're slowly deploying in more all the time. But my onigers are destroying them, most of them. They're going to be... How high is the high ground? There? Oh, wow, that is actually a really steep... ...advantage. And we have more units coming now. They seem to be... I might get my own shots off. Oh, I think that's going to hit bang smack in the middle of the uh, swordsman. Oh, that was a pretty nice hit, if I don't say so myself. I was going to hit those archers, but they moved. Another corker. Their cavalry's pushing on the flanks there. Right, try hit their general. Watching for the flanking armies, they're routing. Ah, oh, we just undershot. We might be able to hit their general now, though. Right, okay. Their cavalry that flanked routed. Exactly. 
Looks like most of their main line are routing as well. Let's see if I can get my own shot off here. Um, I don't know who against. Try not to hit my own troops. Get the onigas to halt. Save the ammo. Right, are my archers firing? I was wondering why we're losing such a unit here, but... It was, um, my... My archers rinsing the... No, it was the, uh... Infantry using their own... Units. Right, my archers are firing. But that army has... Okay, so they're engaging us here. I need to watch out for them. I was going to say I could flank my uh, spearmen around and quickly route them. Oh, I'm going to have to wait. I'm going to have to hold. Right, how's the front line going here? Yeah, we've pretty much got everyone in a full retreat. Their archers are just skirmishing against us. We're going to get my archers around this flank to go and hit them. But they didn't last long at all. Reinforcements are coming in slowly. But we've killed nearly 2,000 of that army. I'll be interested to see if the... Yeah, they're going to run. But I'm going to try run down these... Um, men that are retreating. How are we going on this side here? I'm trying to think. If, we, if they can engage that unit, we can sandwich them in there. But I don't really know what they're doing. Yeah, I'm going to move my spearmen around now. Oh no, what are they doing? They're going to charge me. Alright, anyway. Um, my cavalry's running down their archers. Oh, shit. Alright, they're routing. Fall back over to our side now. To protect my... Uh... Alright, okay. We were, we were charged here. I'm going to... Um, commit this other sword unit here. I don't usually like doing that. Right, there, Rouse. Get up here. You need to help your, um, your cavalry unit that just routed. Huh. My spearmen should be able to get rid of these. Yes, they are heavy shock. Right. There's not much we can do about their cavalry archers. For one, they don't seem to be firing. So. Oh no, they are firing. I could put everyone into defensive testudo. Right, that cavalry unit's come way too close. I'm going to get my generals just to attack them. There's 56. My generals should be able to take them out quite easily. I don't think my generals will be a risk. Uh, just get my archers to hit theirs just there. Right, how are we going over on this flank here? There's still a couple of units there. Right, my archers hitting theirs. I'm trying to think, is it even worth going in defensive test pseudo just yet? Because there's only one unit, and there's about to be more coming. Right, we just routed this unit now. How many's in it? 23. 26 of that unit. Right, routed. Get everyone except for the cavalry unit, and we'll reform like that. Where's that cavalry unit gone? Okay, we just routed those, um... Archers, so we'll hold here. Um, I'm actually going to move... I have my own... Medium cavalry... 
Yeah, I'll just hold them here. Whew. We're doing well. We're doing well. Are oh, my heavy onigas in range? They are. That volley should be pretty venomous, though. Oh! Halt. Sorry. Not <laughs> halt the artillery. We're nearly out of uh, ammo. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to stand fast. We've got a massive strategical position. There's no way that they can break this. This is just stock standard hill camping with heavy onigas. We were so fortunate to have such a, a big advantage. Everyone's spawning behind me. And uh, having this hill, because this terrain is just... Well, this will make us win the battle. I hope. We've only lost 400. They've lost nearly 3,000. But obviously, the more they come in, they trickle more units. Day by day, but... Well, not day by day. Each minute, once they lose one... We're not losing, like, they're going to be, how knackered are they before the time they get there? Exhausted. They are absolutely smashed. Awesome. Yep, yeah, fire at will. Actually, hold, I want to, oh, fuck, sorry. <laughs> um, they're out of ammo now anyway, so it doesn't matter. Right, here comes the charge. Brace for impact. Archers. Hit that swordsman coming up. Take aim. Fire. Right. I feel like this is going to be a bigger attack than last time. But we should be pretty well right. They don't have any of their own artillery. They did at some point, but... We should be pretty well right here. What abilities have we got? We've only got defensive testudo. Um, we do have my general, however. Um... Toggle fire at will. Um, right. Minus fatigue. We don't particularly need that. Minus morale. We'll use that in there. They've got their own archers in here now. Um, I don't think we're in range to hit them. Hit those cavalry. That's probably a good idea. They're routing there. Yeah, I think we're going to speed this up just a little bit more. There's not really much else we can do. Because I don't really want to attack them, and they're just going to keep on hitting me. They won't be able to break me. Running uphill from the other side of the map? Pfft, come on. Come off it, mate. Um, I guess we'll go with flammable shot. Mix it up a bit. We don't need to be going heavy shot against archers. No, I think it's pretty... We'll just go with standard then. Oh, 
All right. There's a bit of a gap there. I need to plug it. What's that? Okay, it's just arches. It looked a little bit more promising than a... Uh... I can't tell where my arches are. Right. Well, we need my cavalry to run down theirs. Um, I don't know how we can best combat with their... Skirmishes. It's, it'll be suicide. I think we just need to get my archers to get rid of theirs. That's a pretty ambitious shot, though. Because there's no point of... Um, Putting the front line in defensive test suit. I think we're just going to have to wade the uh, casualties. We've nearly destroyed them. They're trying to break through there. I feel like we're going to lose more cavalry charging in there and attacking their skirmishes then because they're just going to run away. I might try reform the line here just a bit better. We'll close this in a bit more, as in here, and then we'll reform this up. But these guys can go into defensive Testudo, who's in this second line, uh, except for you. Ah, oh, shit. <laughs> I should have made the lines a little bit more clearer. Well, they're not actually going to be attacking me soon. So this second line... Just go into defensive test, Dudo. Um, yeah, I want these guys to, to plug this gap. Right, so we've actually lost that there. So get out of it. Right. Um, they have more cavalry coming in with more... Skirmishes. Oh, fuck it. Maybe I should just charge them. Might make them route. Oh, looks like we're engaging their horse archers. We should be alright now, then. Yeah, so fall out. Now there's more there. Right, archers, get your little assholes back up here. Why are you, what are you doing? <laughs> C 
because trying to run down horse archers is basically suicide. There's no point to it. You lose way more casualties than uh, than anything. Right, these two units here that I gave the order to be a little bit more centered, aren't there? Right, so it looks like most of their cavalry coming in now. What are you doing? It's just skirmishes. Trying to think what's the best way to combat with this. Like flank around. Because now I put everyone in defensive. Right. Yeah, I don't know what's the best thing to do. Because if we charge out against them, I'm not going to be here for very long. These skirmishes are the biggest pain in the ass ever. That's where they could win this battle, honestly. Because I need to be out of Testudo to attack. So I don't think they're going to be wasting their ammo much. Their ammo is going to take a while to get rid of. And they're deploying more every day. So maybe I should wait for the timer to go out. Maybe that's the best thing for me. Hmm. Yep, everyone get into defensive testudo. Because if we... You will win if the time runs out yet, so that's right. So... So get everyone into defensive testudo. Get my cavalry to try to run them down. I'm better for waiting for the time to run out. Yeah. Right, um... I'm trying to think, like, continuity-wise. It's been 34 minutes. Holy shit. So maybe I should just end the battle here. Uh, or cut it here. And then... Yeah, we're going to lose these cavalry units. But we have more coming in as well. Of course. This is just a long, protracted battle. But, one, I'm happy to win. Alright, get those archers come in. Uh, get them on skirmish mode there. 
But the swordsman... I want you to get up here now. Once you're up there, go on defensive testudo. Right, yeah, I think that's what we're going to have to do, because these guys, it's just its just trickling now, and this is going to go for way too long, and I feel it's quite boring. So, I'm going to end this here, and I'll show you, once we've won the battle, the results. Okay, I'll see you guys in this. Okay, welcome back, guys. We've won. Um, we basically just sat there and waited them for most of them to, well, loose most of their arrows, but they are in a full retreat now. So, what we're going to do is we're going to most definitely continue, and we're going to try to run down as many of these bastards as possible. So we don't have to verse them later. Um, yeah, everyone, get out of defensive test, Dudo. Because um, I think there's spearmen lumped in there as well on it. Right. Attack! Because <laughs> we do have some more cavalry came in just then. Alright, let's start speeding it up then. I don't know if we're going to be able to run down their own cavalry, but... We'll soon see. Looking at the results, though... They deployed 8,000. So we lost. We still lost a fair few. A lot more... Than they lost. Well, we... Yeah, we killed a lot more than they killed of us. To say the least. Most of their cavalry will get away here, though. We'll try run them down. It's not like they even had that many infantry anyway. Yeah. Right, let's just end the battle there. A decisive victory. We deployed 8,543. We lost 2,500 roughly. They deployed 8,400. So, we deployed 100 more men than they, but they lost 5,200. A decisive victory. Should we kill the captives or take on the replenishment? We captured 800. We're better off killing the captives, I reckon. But we fold them back for the time being. However, they're most likely going to be attacking us in our southern settlement. I'm going to end the episode at the end of the end turn phase. So if you're still enjoying this Western Roman Empire campaign, remember to leave a like. I would really much appreciate it. Subscribe if you haven't. Ah, just need to have a drink. And my gen my agents now will just hopefully I might do some Mr. X so I can lock them down in the desert. And then they can lose um some attrition. But a good episode. A good solid battle. It was a long one, but uh for continuity's sake I did skip it up a little bit. But <gasps> Was that... Oh, I thought that might have been the Emperor's son. The heir. Right, okay, worthy bride. Uh, what do you have a subject to mean? Uh, give blessing, I don't care. Right, um... That Sassanid army was going for Yath Arib. Has doubled up here now. Alright, okay, I want to get my spy to... Well, I want to hinder the bigger armies so they lose more attrition. So, we'll hinder this one. Success. Because hindering, obviously... Um, well, it's different for spies and agents. Um, I was trying to think, we could assassinate someone here that we didn't get. They're all pretty shit. I actually assassinated most of them before they even came here. Misdirect. Failure. Um, yeah, we'll salt the unit. Success. Um, there is another army here. But uh, we're going to be taking on replenishments a lot more than them. We're going to have to rally up these armies. We did lose a fair few in that main one. But that armor, I don't even know how that armor helped. Maybe a little bit. But I'm going to end it here. Thank you very much for watching. My name is Ben Simpson, and I'll see you in the next episode. Stay tuned for some more Total War on my channel. Goodbye.